particularly uh, pleased to talk about some of the work we're doing in the elementary levels. Uh, we have um, an Hour of Code and our Voyager program, which is our program for our high academic achievers. Uh, they uh, have been laying the groundwork last year to get our students ready to move forward. And all the students in first grade through fifth grade have uh, the opportunity to participate and join in in an Hour of Code. And uh, we're looking to capitalize on that and really get an excitement for the prospect of coding, uh, students learning how to write their own programs, and speaking the language that's going to be critical for 21st century success. At the middle school level, we're very excited by our One to World tablet initiative. Uh, the sixth grade and seventh grade uh, students have uh, Surface Pro 3 tablets, and they use them all day during school, and the students have the opportunity to take them home each day and continue the work beyond the school day. Uh, the advent of the technology has allowed students and teachers to really enhance the level of communication, uh, increase the uh, level of collaboration. Students are really able to work on collaborative projects with their peers uh, in class, but also when the school day is over, the collaboration can continue and the learning can continue. Uh, we're particularly excited by uh, the ability of teachers to have uh, ready access to formative assessments. They can really project out questions to the entire class and get immediate feedback from all students uh, in real time so the teachers will be able to uh, determine the right uh, instructional level for the students and be able to really address their needs appropriately. Uh, all of these things come together and we're really excited by the program and we know that as it goes forward it's really going to improve instruction for all students at the middle school level. At the high school level we're very excited by a new collaboration we have with Hofstra University, a, a local institute of higher education. Uh, we have made connection with their engineering department, in particular uh, one of their professors, Professor Kevin Craig, and he has actually come to our high school and he has spoken with groups of students about the role engineering plays in uh, social justice and the ways that engineering is used to improve the uh, life and well-being of people all around the world. And we're capitalizing on that by continuing to have uh, ongoing discussions about how we can transform in learning opportunities in Lindbergh High School to give students a chance to really dig deep, find out all the different aspects of engineering, and find out where those uh, career connections are possible, and also give the students opportunities to really investigate things of personal interest uh, that can really uh, lead to the greater good. In today's class, we essentially broke up the 
programming of this robot into two sections, turning and straight. And the goal of the robot is for it to navigate a maze and essentially the maze starts with a left turn, a right turn, and four straightaways. So initially when we were writing this code, we were instructed to use trial and error to solve the problem of navigating the maze. But through these calculations, you can actually have the computer find the exact number that you need for drive time for each of these necessary distances and turns. I'm currently taking advanced design and innovation. In this class, Mr. Rothstein organized our correspondence with St. Mary's Children's Hospital in Bayside, Queens. And we're designing uh, toys and tools for the kids there who have severe physical disabilities to help them have those tools that aren't mass produced in the market so they can have toys and, and different things that will aid them throughout their day. Um, my example is I'm designing a toy that will be easier to grip for a girl who has wrist disabilities and something interactive and fun.